Welcome. I'm Paige McCoy-Smith from WFAA and Good Morning Texas. I'm so pleased to return as an MC for an artist Christmas. Now, we know that some of you changed into your fancy yoga pants tonight, and I'm sure that some of you went well beyond that with just a little bling bling. But each of you are here for the same reason, because you care. So let me start tonight by sharing a little bit about Emily. Now, Emily's story starts off like so many other success stories. She has been in campfire program since she was six years old and now continues with campfire as a junior in high school. When sharing campfire's impact on her life, Emily says, campfire will change you. It'll make you see the world and yourself differently. So as a six-year-old, Emily was shy and campfire gave her an outlet to develop her voice. 
And as she grew in Campfire, she realized she could accept others with differing ideas from her own. Wow, that's a lesson all of us should pay attention to during these really divisive times. So Emily leaned on her ability to be quiet and listen, but because of Campfire, she developed the courage to be more open and outgoing. In fact, she was described by another Campfire leader as a social butterfly, a description she would never have dared to enjoy prior to Campfire. Then COVID hit and schools closed and youth across our communities encountered a devastating change to life as they knew it. So Campfire provided Emily a sense of community and inclusion when she and so many other members needed it most. So Teens in Action provides year-round support to high school students to remain actively engaged in school, to graduate and to prepare for a promising future. Adult leaders use small group meetings, field trips, volunteering and mentoring to boost confidence, build self-esteem and develop leadership skills. Her Teens in Action group shifted to Zoom and to house party meetings to ensure Emily and her peers had the emotional and mental support they needed to adjust to these radical life changes. As she sat in a park this summer, socially distanced, of course, and reflecting on her years in campfire, Emily summed it up by saying, whether it is academic or personal, the leaders at campfire and the friends I've made will always help you no matter what you have going on. And we have no idea what the long-term effects of teens living in this COVID world might bring, but your presence here gives our youth a chance to take these challenging circumstances, apply the lessons learned, and make a positive impact on our collective future. Now we've all heard it takes a village to raise a child, but you know, I believe it takes a larger community, unified in a collective mission, right or left, red or blue. We all can agree and stand up with one voice and say, these kids deserve our support and they deserve our commitment. Campfire is leading this charge, assisting over 25,000 North Texas youth and families, and that's counting. As we start the party and begin the bidding, one final thought. Each work of art begins as a blank canvas, primed for potential, and each child starts as a blank canvas but it's up to us to give them access to the paint and the brushes, and it's up to them to choose the colors and define their path to a more beautiful world. Yes, we all agree. Now more than ever, kids need our support, and it's time to show that. And with that, I'm so excited to turn the evening over to Gail Stallings to get this party started. Hello, Paige. Get the party started. I sure can. I am thrilled to be returning as your auctioneer and as a former campfire girl, whoa, Hilo. I still have fond memories of our service projects, sing-alongs at summer camp, and building a triangle fire. Bidding and donating from the comfort of your couch has never been easier. We know you may have some COVID fatigue, but we also know you are here for the kids. You're logged in and watching this live stream. Well, you are ready to begin bidding. If you're watching this with friends, please remember you need to be logged in on your own device to bid or donate. If at any time you run into technical difficulties, reference the chat. We have live support on hand to help you. You can bid from your phone or computer in the live auction. So bid big and bid often. During our virtual raise the paddle, you can make a 100% tax deductible gift. Again, you need to be on your own device to bid or to donate. Join now from your device, like right now, and make sure you're ready for all the bidding fun. Now I want to share this brief video overview showing how campfire programs are helping our youth find their spark. How much light can a spark give off? It depends on what you do with it. Don't do anything and it goes out. 
nurture it, give it the air and fuel it needs, and a spark becomes a flame. And if you really give it a chance to grow, that flame never goes out. It shines further and brighter, illuminating each new day. From the smallest spark to the largest flame, Campfire exists to fuel lifelong success, to make a lasting positive impact on children, teens, adults, and families. At Campfire, we never underestimate a spark because we know just what a spark can become. And there are many more waiting to ignite. What a powerful overview of the life impacting work Campfire is doing. This year has been a challenge for many organizations and your contributions tonight will help Campfire continue to provide a safe, fun and inclusive place for youth. A place where they form lasting relationships, develop a sense of belonging and make positive contributions to the lives of their families and their community. You can support Campfire with a donation from $5,000 to $100. Let's get started with our virtual raise the paddle, folks. What do you say? Here's a breakdown of how your donation can make a difference. Remember, donate any amount at any time by clicking the black pledge other button. And as you see those levels go up on the screen, remember this is about healing children. This is experiencing nature, touring college campuses, STEM experiences, healthy snacks, and after school programs. Now is the time to use your mobile device or computer to make a 100% tax deductible donation. This is your chance to make an impact and give from the heart. Click the black pledge other button to donate at any time the amount of your choosing. You know, opportunities are presented to us every day to do good and to be the change we want to see in the world. That opportunity is before you right now by making a gift of $5,000. This is going to help six children who have lost a loved one with one week at Camp El Tesoro de la Vida, our grief camp. Or by clicking that button at $5,000, you can support 45 middle school and high school students for Teens in Action program for the entire school year. And yes, we see a gift of $5,000. Randy Mitchell, thank you so much. We are so excited. And so you should see everyone cheering here in the studio right now. Yes, we are so excited. Thank you so much. And we have gifts coming in at all levels. So thank you so much. You know, this is, you have a chance to give the best gift in the auction. This is one gift that fits in your heart and has no expiration date. Now, imagine never seeing a night sky full of stars or walking a trail, listening to leaves crunch under your feet or birds singing over your head. Your gift of $2,500 introduces 150 kids to explore, hike, see, and truly understand the beauty and value of nature. Or $2,500 gives a child the financial security to attend a safe and enriching after-school program for a year. This is a full year scholarship at Camp Fire's after-school program for 50 weeks. This is where they become self-reliant community leaders and develop social and emotional skills. Your donation is a gift that will be with you always. And those you help, you may they may never meet you, but they will be grateful for what you are about to do. So go ahead and click that donate button now. And if you're not seeing the donate button on your screen, remember to Turn off the chat also. That could be another way. So what would, you, what would you pay to give a child their first opportunity to run free for a week, make new friends, shoot arrows, and experience the freedom of being unplugged? 
$1,000 provides a scholarship for a week of independence, freedom, and joy at Camp El Tassara Overnight Camp. Or with $1,000, you pay for 14 high school juniors and seniors in Teens in Action Service Leadership Program to tour college campuses. This is inspiring them to pursue a college education. And earlier in the virtual lobby, I noticed we had a gift come in of $1,000 from Mary Ann Ald. Mary Ann, thank you so much for your gifts of $1,000. We also have gifts of $100 coming in from Lauren and Linda and Leslie and Letta and Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. I see you. Thank you so much. So again, you can make donations at any time. And while the world is most uncertain, the one thing is certain. Campfire First Texas will continue to do the work and to fulfill its mission to help young people light the fire within. $500 is another very important level. And this provides 50 future engineers, scientists, or nature explorers from our Diamond Hill Station Day Camp to embark on a STEM experience that shapes the trajectory of their whole year of learning. And it diminishes the negative impact of summer learning loss. Yes, I see $500 gifts from Terry Hollander. Thank you, Terry. Woohoo! Nina Knight, thank you for your gift of $500. You know, this is your chance to make an impact and give from the heart. So please, you can keep giving all the way through 8:30 tonight. So if you are thinking about this, this is a wise investment in Campfire. How about $250? Your gifts of $250 will provide two scholarships for youth to attend one week of summer day camp at our Alito, Diamond Hill Station, or Westcliff location. Or $250 means 30 children can have healthy snacks for a week in the after school program, many of whom experience food insecurity. Thank you, Jody Utter, for your gift of $250. We are so appreciative of your gift. Thank you so much. You know, we can't do this alone, but we can do this together. And your gift of $100, we also just had some other gifts of $250. Diane Crane, thank you so much. And Robbie Reeb, your gift of $250. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your gift of $100 provides transportation for 80 kids to our after school programs on the campfire bus for one week. That's picking them up from three different sites. And Bob Lukeman, thank you, Bob, for your gift of $100. And I know more of our generous donors are going to be joining Bob. And I know we had other gifts at $100 coming in earlier. So I want to thank you so much for this outpouring of generosity. Please give yourselves a virtual round of applause for what you have done. And there's no gift too big or too small. If there's any amount I did not call out, you can enter any amount and click the green donate button. So let's keep those gifts rolling in. Thank you so much. And I had the opportunity to meet three incredible kids, three kids who are filling their canvases with an incredible masterpiece, thanks to Campfire. So please meet Addison, Jacori, and Tori, who attend Camp El Tesora de la Vida Grief Camp. Summer Camp, a childhood experience complete with memories that last a lifetime. It's all here, hiking, swimming, archery, and campfires, roasting s'mores. But look a little closer. There's something different about this camp. It's like everybody here this week has all had grief. Someone that they had really close had gone, had, they had lost. Meet Addison, Jacori, and Tori. They're all campers at El Tesoro de la Vida, a week-long camp designed to help kids who have lost loved ones work through their grief. You lost your father, yes. right? 
How long ago was that? A little over a year ago. That's pretty fresh. Yeah. It's very new. So when you're all of a sudden in this setting where that's a big subject, was it helpful to be around other kids that have also gone through something like this? Personally, it was helpful because I found comfort in knowing that other kids are going through sort of the same situation as I am. And we can all kind of rely on each other in order to get through the bad days here. Like Tori, Addison also lost her father to suicide and Ja'Cory lost his little sister to kidney disease. When they're home, they can feel isolated in their grief. But at camp, they're not alone. It was comforting knowing that other people had those same emotions like that day, whether it was anger or sadness or like shock. And so we all just kind of got closer and seeing other people cry, it made you not feel alone. It's been fun having friends and people that's like me. And speaking of fun, camp is fun. Kids are allowed to have fun and be, well, a kid. A lot of times you forget it's okay to be happy and laugh. You know it's okay to have fun, especially when you see other people laughing. It's contagious. Campfire's Camp El Tesoro de la Vida has been around for over 30 years. Kim Davignon has been a volunteer for 25 of those years. What keeps you coming back year after year after year? You know, from the first moment I ever walked across the bridge and worked at this camp, I knew how special it was. And I knew there was this energy and electricity along with true healing. When do we get to see true, true, honest to goodness healing? And we do it here. So I just was hooked. Most of what causes and helps our healing is, for once, the kids aren't alone. They're getting to be around other kids who get exactly what they're going through. At home, losing a loved one can make a kid feel like an outcast. One of the first things we do at our camp is we set everybody down and we say, okay, if you've lost a mother, stand up and look around. If you've lost a father, stand up and look around. I, I cry every time I think about it. And you see the kids look around and think, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. I'm not the only kid here who knows what that feels like. And you can feel their shoulders come down in that moment. You can feel the beginning of what we do here start. Being able to talk about their loved ones openly and honestly is a big part of their healing. The number one rule around here is all feelings are okay. It's going to hurt, but that person loved you and you loved them. Let's celebrate that. Let's not just stop the celebration at the funeral. Let's celebrate the person you loved. And you don't have to stop talking about them and you don't have to stop loving them. You get to celebrate that and remember them. We're just lucky Bucky's such a good boy. At El Tesoro de la Vida, healing comes in all shapes and sizes. For Addison, it's horses. I like it whenever I get to ride them. Like, it makes me forget about everything that happened. It makes me go into my own little world. It, it makes me feel good. Animals hold a special significance for Addison in other ways. I think his spiritual animal would be a bear because he gave the greatest hugs, but he was huge. I love that idea of the spiritual animal. He would be a bear. What about your sister? What do you think she would be? She would be a bird. Why? She always wanted to fly. Do you think maybe she's out there maybe flying around right now? It's kind of between a butterfly and a, a bird, but she could actually, I've seen a lot of butterflies that look exactly the same around me. I hope that piece really did inspire you because each live auction bid tonight supports the journeys of youth who like Tori and Addison and Ja'Cory and of course we can't forget Emily as they fully embrace who they are and how we can help them become the wildly successful people they were born to be. So let's show these kids how much we care. It's time to begin our live auction with five incredible packages. Bidding will be fast. Bid early and often and do not, um, do not wait until the last seconds to submit your bids since there could be a little delay of 15 to 20 seconds. Now, even though you do not have bidder numbers to raise like in past years, I'm watching the monitors in front of me and I can still see all of your bids and names every time you click the button to bid again. For our first item, 
How many of you are ready for a little girl's night out in funky town? The bidding is now open at $600. Let's go, ladies. This package is so good. It carries over to the next day. Grab your favorite friends for drinks and dinner at Del Frisco's Double Eagle Steakhouse with a $200 gift card. Let Kendra Scott add some bling with four pieces of jewelry and $50 gift cards redeemed at your own color bar party. Enjoy two double queen suites at the Embassy Suites by Hilton Fort Worth. Wrap up your weekend with a delicious Sunday brunch at Fix Southern House while using an Uber gift card to cover travel around the city. And let's begin the bidding on this package for Girls' Night Out. And I see we have an opening bid with Dorothy Wing at $600, yes. And who's coming in at seven? I'm at 600 here, now seven, now seven, now seven, at 600 over here, and $700 where? I, Dorothy, I remember I was looking in the virtual lobby and I saw you say, that the, the Christmas music was getting you in the spirit to bid. You are a good influence for everyone. Let's all feel that spirit. Dorothy is at $600 asking $700. This is a girl's night out. Oh, let me remind you of this also. 92% said being in campfire made them try something, even if they didn't think they would like it. That's what you're doing with this bidding tonight for campfire. So not only are you getting this fabulous night out on the town for you and three friends, again, that's two double queen suites at the Embassy Suites. You have dinner at Del Frisco's, a Kendra Scott, your own color bar party, four pieces of jewelry and four $50 gift cards, Sunday brunch at Fix Fort Worth's Southern House, and an Uber gift card. Yes, Lisa Dawn is in at $700. I'm at $700 there. How about $800? And $700, now eight. And seven, now eight, now eight, now eight. $700 there, now eight. Dorothy, it's just like tennis. We're going to go back and forth. And now it's your turn to bid. Dorothy, how about it? Lisa Dawn is at $700. Would you come in at $800? Anyone can join the party. In fact, I want you to text your three best friends right now. Say, hey, we can get in on this. Three BFFs, we can do this. This is going to be a great night out. We're supporting Campfire. I'm at $700. Who's going to come in at $800? Anyone else at $800? This is such an incredible experience. You're helping Campfire. You're helping these kids. You're helping them build this self-esteem. And I'm at $700 asking $800. And I'm going to be counting you down in five seconds. This is between Dorothy and Lisa. Dorothy, do you want to come back in at $800? Last chance. This is Girls' Night Out in Funky Town. I'm going to count you down. We are in five seconds. Four. Call and text your friends now. Tell them they can still get in on this. Three two, one, and we have closed Girls Night Out. Thank you so much. And yes, Lisa Don Maris, thank you so much for bidding. I hope you got lots of confetti fall all over you. Our next item is a certified autograph electric guitar by one of the world's best-selling bands, the Eagles. You can start bidding now at $1,500. You'll have a peaceful, easy feeling knowing this gorgeous Squire by Fender electric guitar signed by Eagles band members is certified authentic. More like a piece of art, this guitar features all band member signatures, including Don Henley, Glenn Fry, Joe Walsh, Randy Meisner, and Don Felder. Don't leave with a heartache tonight. So be sure to bid on this beauty before it is already gone. Donated by Irene and Don Willis. And do we have an opening bid here on the certified autographed Eagles guitar? The opening bid is $1,500. I know you're all thinking, wow, 
Who am I going to get this for? This would make a great Christmas present. Let me surprise them. We've got a 40th anniversary party coming up. It's our anniversary. It's my birthday. Do we have an opening bid on the Eagles guitar at $1,500? Remember, this is certified. All the autographs are certified. Yes, Kelly Keith says, I want in on this guitar at $1,500. Thank you, Kelly. I would love to have someone in there bidding against you right now. I'm asking $1,750 for the next amount. We're at $1,500 with Kelly Keith asking $1,750. And think about this. Well, yeah, because you're going to be leaving with a heartache tonight if you don't bid on this. So we don't want that. So campfire programs are helping youth find their spark. 25,000 youth are finding their spark in six North Texas counties. Tarrant, Parker, Johnson, Hood, Denton, and Wise. Kelly Keith is still in the lead at $1,500. You know, let's take this to the limit, okay? I, I don't want to start singing Desperado. No, but let's take it to the limit here. And think about this. Mother's Day is right around the corner. Nothing says I love you more than giving mom an autographed guitar by the Eagles. Kelly Keith is the only one bidding on this right now at $1,500. Come on in and join her. It's not too late for $1,750. Anyone else, last chance. I'm going to count you down in five seconds for someone else to join. We are at five, four, three, Kelly's in this by herself, two, one, and the item has closed at $1,500. Enjoy your guitar. I think everyone's going to want to hear from you, Kelly, to see what song you are going to be playing for us. Our third item. This is your home away for home for the week on Kiowa Island off the coast of South Carolina. Bidding is now open at $2,500. This is a beautifully renovated 3,700 square foot home overlooking the third hole of Turtle Point Golf Course. Well, that's going to be your view for seven nights. This five bedroom and five and a half bath offers plenty of space for 10 guests. Prepare gourmet meals in the large kitchen or fire up the full-size grill for outdoor cooking. Enjoy cocktails on the wraparound porch overlooking the golf course with only a 10-minute walk to the beach. You can be welcomed back with a refreshing outdoor shower donated by Thomas and Donna Harvey. Yes, and do we have an opening bid on this one for South Carolina. The opening bid is $25 hundred dollars. I know you are starting to plan vacations. I And you can drive there, okay? You do not even need to get in a plane. This is going to be so fun. Ten people. And there are going to be plenty of space. So let me ask you this. And it isn't Julia Summers. I agree. What an incredible place. So what do you like about Campfire? This is what we asked Gerald, who's in the Teens in Action program. And he said, campfire is the best thing that has happened to me. My only regret is I should have joined sooner. I think that's what someone's going to be saying if they don't start bidding on this, that they should have started bidding earlier because I do not have an opening bid yet on South Carolina. Folks, this package is valued at $10,000, $10,000. The opening bid. Yes, Nina Knight. Thank you. You are in at $2,500. And let me tell you, this is a haven for those sinking solace and unspoiled natural splendor, endless adventure, and true hospitality. You're only 45 minutes from uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, that 10 minute walk from the beach. 
good. Can you smell the salt? You know, and you don't even mind it getting in your hair. But yeah, so Nina is in at 2,500. I'm asking $3,000 for the next bid. I'm at 25 with Nina. How about $3,000? I know you're out there. I know you want to bid. This is really showing your support for Campfire. This is an incredible, yes, Julia Summers is in at $3,000. And thank you, Rhonda, for your a donation of $100. Like we said, you can make donations through this also. We're at $3,000. I'm now asking $3,500. I'm at $3,000 with Julia. How about $3,500, Nina? What do you say? $3,000 there. How about $3,500? I'm at $3,000, now $35. And $3,000, now $35. Who wants to come in at $3,000, now $35? You know, let your money buy you happiness and incredible views. This is going to be fantastic. And all those people, yes, Nina is back in at $3,500. I'm at $35. Now $4,000. dollars 35 Now four, now four, now four. What do you say? I'm at 35 Now four, now four. Oh, yeah. That's a wraparound porch overlooking the golf course. Hmm. Which cocktails are you planning to fix? Have you texted those your friends who want to go on this. We're 35 with Nina asking $4,000. Is anyone in at $4,000? Last chance, 35 asking $4,000. This is a $10,000 value. And remember, all this is going to such an incredible cause, an incredible organization, Campfire First Texas. We need your help more than ever ever right now. These kids need your help more than ever. We're at 3,500 asking $4,000. Anyone else? I'm going to count you down in these last five seconds. Still not too late to get in there right now. It's just Julia and Nina bidding on this. I'm going to count you down in five, four, three, two, one, and we have closed South Carolina. Thank you so much for our winner, Nina Knight. Have a blast there, and I know you're going to have a great time. Our fourth item lets you escape for seven nights at Needle Mountain Chalet, a private home near Durango, Colorado. The bidding is open at $2,500. This two-story, 4,000-square-foot home sleeps 12, 12 people. Yes, who's, who are you calling on your phone right now? 12 people features four bedrooms, four baths. This all-season vacation home at 8,900 feet elevation is situated on five acres with a large ground-level deck with, let's see, do you want the patio heaters on or off? There's a fire pit and a hot tub. Home is also equipped with heated out floors and an elevator and is pet friendly. Donated by Sue Holland. And let's start the bidding on this private Colorado home near Durango. Again, you can drive there. No airfare needed. And 12 people. Yeah, let's pile in the station wagon and head to Durango. I say we want to go. Who wants to get me started? You know, maybe you're trying to decide, do you, what do you want to do during your mountain escape? Is it hiking, skiing, relaxing by the fire? Guess what? You can do all of that. So we just need someone to open the bidding at $2,500. Who would like to help? While you're thinking about that, we also asked Emily, another one of our teens in action. Um, Teens in action, Emily. Yeah. And she says, I like that y'all call in and check up on us and make sure we're all safe and good. That's what you're doing. That's what this bidding is doing. Yes, you're going to get a fabulous vacation out of this, but it's things like that, especially during right now where the kids are having to do a lot of things virtually, socially distanced. They can't meet as they normally do but you're going to help make that possible so Campfire First Texas can keep doing these programs. This is perfect for a large family, sleeps up to 12, four private bedrooms, four baths, 8,900 feet elevation. And I believe the um, 
We have a $2,500 bid. Sarah Mitchell, thank you so much. I'm going to ask Christy here on expiration dates. Expiration dates are... We're going to be very accommodating. How's that? If we need to make this 18 months, two years, we're going to do that because you're going to not want to miss being at 8,900 feet elevation in this home. We're at Sarah Mitchell with $2,500. I'm asking $3,000, 2,500 now three. I'm at 2,500 now three, now three, now three, at 2,500 there with Sarah. How about 3,000 where? That second story deck. Yep. You have the heaters up there, fire pit, hot tub. Boy, you can do that summer, spring, winter. It's real hot tub in the winter is really nice. Heated floors, elevators, pet friendly. And you know, we're at 2,500 with Sarah Mitchell. I'm sure she would love to have someone joining her in the bidding. And if I think the bidding is getting too high, I promise I will let you know. You can stop then, but right now we're not there. So we are at $2,500. This again is a home that is valued at over $10,000, 12 people. You divide that 12 people by, oh, Rosa, thank you, Navahar. You are $3,000, thank you so much. I'm at 3,000 now asking $3,500. 3,000 now 35, I'm at 3,000. Come on, Sarah, come back in. I know you already had your, your 10, your 11 guests picked out, how, what time of year you're gonna go, but Rosa is in at 3,000, I'm asking $3,500. And 3,000, now 35, and 3,000, now 35. One more time, 3,000, now 35. I know you do not want to stop. You're going to be saying, I was a shoulda, woulda, coulda bidder. You don't want to do that tomorrow morning when you can be getting this item right now. We're at $3,000 asking $3,500. Anyone else? Don't ask for permission, ask for forgiveness is the way I look at it. So we're at $3,000 asking $3,500. Sarah, would you like to come back in? I'm going to count you down in five seconds. We are at five, four, three, two, one, and we have closed. Thank you so much. Thank you for Rosa and Sarah for the bidding. And Rosa, you're going to have a fabulous trip there. Our final item. Well, this is going to let four people experience Hamilton at Bass Hall, featuring a score that blends hip hop, jazz, blues, rap, R&B, and Broadway. The bidding is open at $800. Now is your time to rise up and raise a glass to freedom with four orchestra seats for the Broadway at the Bass production of the Tony award-winning Hamilton, the story of America then as told by America now. Show dates are January 8th to February 16th, 2022. Top off the evening with a $200 gift card for dinner at Riata in downtown Fort Worth, donated by Sasha and Ed Bass, and dinner by Dorothy Wang. All right, who is going to Hamilton? Let's see the bidding. Yes, and Becky Moranosi, Moranoso. Thank you for your bid at $900. I'm at $900, now $1,000. It says the bidding, yes, Kelly Keith. Yep, it's at $900, now we're um, at $900, asking $1,000. I'm at $900, now $1,000. We're doing this in $100 increments. 900 there, how about 1,000 where? 900 now one, I'm at 900 now one now one, that's $1,000 for four seats at Hamilton at Bass Hall 2022. You've got till then, you've got a long time to decide. Yes, Jake Yarborough, thank you for your bid at $1,000. I'm at 1,000, now 1,100, and 1,000, now 11, and 1,000, now 11, 11, 11. I'm at $1,000 there, asking 1,100. Becky, would you like to come back in at $1,100? Let me give you a reason why, Becky, you should do that. 95% of youth in campfire programs said they work to get along with others, even if they were different. 
isn't that inspiring to see that in our youth? And yes, Becky did like that. She's at eleven $1 hundred dollars. Eleven hundred now twelve. I'm at eleven now twelve now twelve now twelve. Jake, come on back in. It's almost yours. I'm at eleven $1 hundred with Becky. Jake, would you like to come in at twelve hundred dollars? Eleven hundred now twelve. No, whoa, that there. We just went at all kinds of things. We are at twelve hundred. Jake is in at twelve hundred. Thank you very much. In between that, we had a pledge of two hundred fifty dollars a donation from. Uh, Watt Casey, thank you so much. We're at twelve hundred. I'm asking thirteen hundred dollars. And yes, Paige Hendricks Russi is in at thirteen hundred dollars. I'm at thirteen now. Fourteen and thirteen now. Fourteen now. Fourteen. I'm at thirteen there. How about fourteen? Where? Who else is coming in at fourteen hundred? Jake, come on back in. Becky, come on back in. You know you can do this. I'm at thirteen hundred with Paige. Here's another reason. 93% of Teens in Action participants reported that adults in campfire believe that I will be a success. Oh, I be that they are so thrilled that adults believe in them. We're at $1,300 asking $1,400. Yes, and Jake Yarborough liked that. He wants our campfire youth to be a success. And $1,400 with Jake, how about $1,500? I'm at 14 with Jake, who's coming in at 15. Paige, you can come back in. Becky, you can come back in. I'm at 14 with Jake. How about $1,500? 14, not 15. That's four orchestra seats and dinner at Riata afterwards. 14 there. How about 1,500? I'm at 14, now 15, now 15. One more time. 14 there, now 15. Anyone else in? Jake's in the lead at 1,400 at 15. Paige, do you want to come back in? All right, 1400 after asking 1500. Anyone else? Yep, yeah, people are cheering for Jake. I, I maybe the Adelaide's going with him. I don't know. 14 now 15. Anyone else at 14 now 15? I'm going to do a five second countdown. Get those bids in now as I count this down. Becky, you can come back in. Paige, you can come back in. We're at 14 asking 15. That's in five, four, three, two, one. And we have closed Hamilton at Bass Hall. Okay, guys, it's been an exciting night, but we're not finished yet. We're going to be continuing some of the bidding, but it's also, we are also having you an opportunity to buy raffle tickets to win an incredible patio party package. You don't want to miss out on that. It is everything you need to host a great party, and I think we are all in need of that. And it is valued at more than $1,300 and was donated by Benny Keith and the wonderful committee that who are the members who helped plan this event. We thank you all. All right. So are you ready? The winner selected by random earlier today is Adrian Cantu. Congratulations. I'm so excited that you get to win this patio set. And we hope you have a fantastic party. Well, congratulations to all of you. And I don't know about you, but I'm really already looking forward to next year. I think all of us could say that for sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Lauren Richard, President and CEO of Campfire First Texas. And I'm so excited to have you all with us tonight as we bring you an artist Christmas in our new virtual format. Your support this year is vital as we continue to connect youth to the services and experiences they need to grow and thrive in our community. We are so looking forward to seeing you next year in person for an artist Christmas. Now go ahead and pull out your phones or your day planners and mark your calendar for November 20th, 2021 at Fort Worth Convention Center for next year's artist Christmas. We are already putting together an incredible event committee. And if you're interested in being part of that committee, please let us know in the chat and we will get you connected with the right people. So before I send it back to Gail and Paige in the studio, I want each of you to know how deeply grateful I am for your support. An artist's Christmas simply cannot happen without each of you. 
And I want to give a special thank you to our artists and volunteers who show up year after year to make this event a success. Good night, everyone, and thank you. Paige, it was a great night co-hosting with you. Based on our preliminary count, Campfire is at $14,750 to their total fundraising goal of $50,000. Now we realize that many people joined late. I was watching people as they were coming in. So what we wanna do is bring this back to our live ask, our virtual paddle raise. And we're just gonna do this at one level. I'm not gonna go through all the levels, but you are more than welcome to go off script and put in any amount you want. But we're just gonna do this at the $250 level. So you should see a button on your screen of $250. And yes, and sheets. I see that gift of $250, thank you. Doug White, your pledge of $500, thank you. Pam Pigman at $250. Thank you so much. Donna James Harvey, thank you for your gift of $250. I know we can do this. We can get there. I know what you mean, what Campfire means to you, what it means to these kids. And we would love to see. This is just at the $250 level. If there's any other amounts you want to put in, feel free to enter the, those amounts and show Campfire Kids the love. That's what we want to show them right now. Becky, thank you for your gift at $100. Bob Lukeman, thank you for your gift of $250. We appreciate you so much. And this is going to make such a difference because it, it's been a, it's been a hard year. It's been a hard year for Campfire. When you think of 25,000 kids enjoying all these programs that they were doing in person, and now we're taking them virtual and still giving them that same connection. And it it's, makes it tougher for them, but we want to keep them encouraged, fulfilled. And Pam Skiersick, thank you for your gift of $100. Just keep, keep the love showing for Campfire. We really want to keep this up. We've raised $6,600 so far. We would love to see this, these numbers go up, up, up. So we are now at, on that portion, so we're at $16,700 of our $50,000 goal. And I know that the Campfire Artists Christmas Committee members They've done a phenomenal job in getting these live auction items and everything else. So I want to applaud them and thank them for everything they are doing. Can we see if I have any more donations coming in uh, at 250? So we are uh, Jake Yarborough. Thank you for your gift of $250. And Morena, so thank you for your gift of $100. We're going to let you keep doing that. Remember, you have until 8.30 tonight to keep making these donations. So thank you so much. We appreciate you and your generosity and for sharing your evening with us. I'm going to take it here for right. I also want to mention, I noticed that Ann Sheets, our beloved Ann Sheets, she was so donated. And that's just remarkable considering how many years, four decades, um, a little over that, that she contributed her, her time and her energy and her love for Campfire. And yet she is still giving. And that is so appreciated. And we all appreciate you. And we all, of course, appreciate Campfire. And it was encouraging for me to hear these additional bids coming in because we know that you care. And also the silent art auction, it doesn't close for another 30 minutes. So you want to continue to put your bids in. And there are some real treasures, not only the pieces that you see featured on the stage behind us that are up for auction, but more than 75 total pieces. We want you to get into the action. Gail, I'm gonna send that back over to you now. All right, and we will have the online donation button available as well. So. If you haven't had an opportunity to make your donation, I, I want you to 
if you can give more right now, I want you to do that. And remember, a lot of these kids, you're never going to meet them, but they are going to be so grateful for what you are able to do. So even after we wrap up our live event, on that note, Paige, shall we call it a night? I think we should, but I do want to say on behalf of Gail, myself, and everyone at Campfire First Texas, I want to thank you for your support and your time. You are making a much needed difference in the lives of children. Good night and happy bidding.